Welcome to EDU Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will discuss continuity on an open interval, continuity on a closed interval, and what is discontinuous function. First, we will see continuity on an open interval. A function fx is said to be continuous on an open interval AB if and only if it is continuous at every point on the interval AB. It is similar to what a function is said to be continuous on. That is, it is continuous at each point of its zone. I again repeat, continuity on an open interval is same as the continuity continuous function. That is, it should be continuous at each and every point on its zone. Continuity on a closed interval. A function fx is said to be continuous on a closed interval AB. If it satisfies these properties, first, first properties, it should be continuous on an open interval AB. Second, right hand limit should be equal to value of A in a function is N. Third property says that left hand limit should at left hand limit at X is equal to A, should be equal to F of B. The value of B in a given function. This also at x is equal to a and this is at x is equal to b. Sorry, this is at b. So we conclude from this that uh, it should be considered an open interval a b. Its left right hand limit should be equal to uh, value of a x in a given function and it should uh, left hand limit should be equal to the value of a b in a given function. Next we come to discontinuous function. A function f is said to be discontinuous function if it at a point a of its domain d if it is not continuous. The point a is called the point of discontinuity or in other words we can say that a function which is not continuous is a discontinuous function. Discontinuity may arise due to the following point. If Limit x tends to a positive or limit x tends to a negative may not exist. If both the limits or if both the limit or one either one of the limits may not exist. Second point is limit x tends to a positive as well as limit x tends to a negative of fx for here also it will be fx 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 may exist but are unequal it means both the limits exist but they are unequal that is Limit x tends to a positive is not equal to limit x tends to a negative. Or third point says that if limit x tends to a positive is equal to limit x tends to a negative, but they both or either one of that one of these is not equal to f of a. So, due to these properties, the function becomes discontinuous. Let us see a one example of discontinuous function. In this example, it is given that there is a function fx, which is defined as if x is less than 2, it is equal to 2x. At x is equal to 2, the value of function is 2. And if x is greater than 2, the value of function is x square. If discontinuous at x is equal to 2. First, we will find the right hand limit, that is, limit x tends to 2 positive, which is equal to. If we are finding the right hand limit, the function which we will take is this, that is, x should be greater than 2 in the when we are finding the uh, right hand limit of fx is equal to limit x tends to. 2 positive of x square which is equal to 
fourth. Now we will find out the left hand limit that is q negative of fx which is equal to limit x tends to 2 negative of x square which is equal to sorry here it will come 2x. The function which we will take over here while uh, we are calculating a left hand limit which should be less than function should be less than x should be less than given value of that value which from where we are calculating the discontinuity that is less than 2. So it comes out to be 2 into 2 which is equal to 4. Now we will find out f of 2 which is given in the quotient it is 2. So uh, limit x tends to 2 positive is equal to limit x tends x tends to 2 negative in the given function but they are not equal to f of 2. So our function is discontinued. at x is equal to 